On October 8, 2024, the Moroccan Air Force received exciting news regarding the acquisition of the Emperor C-390 Millennium Military Transport Aircraft. This announcement came through the official Twitter account Kingdom of Morocco Armies, alongside a video presentation from Emperor that showcased Morocco's flag alongside other operators of the C-390 during the C-390 Millennium Users Group Conference 2024. Representing a significant upgrade to Morocco's military capabilities, the C-390 joins a roster of countries, including Brazil, Portugal, Hungary, and the United Arab Emirates, that have already incorporated this advanced aircraft into their fleets. The inclusion of the C-390 Millennium comes after months of speculation fueled by reports of Moroccan delegations visiting Portugal, hinting at a serious interest in acquiring this aircraft. Designed to replace the aging fleet of C-130 Hercules models, the C-390 will significantly enhance Morocco's logistics and tactical transport capabilities. Previous promotional materials from Embraer had also featured Morocco's flag, indicating ongoing negotiations including discussions on potential local manufacturing collaboration with Emperor. The Emperor C-390 Millennium, which began development in the mid-2000s with substantial backing from the Brazilian government, represents a leap in military transport technology. With an initial investment of $440 million and a $1.5 billion contract for prototype development secured in 2009, the aircraft first flew in 2015 and was officially rebranded in 2019. As Emperor's largest aircraft, the C-390 employs turbofan engines that offer higher transport speeds, making it a formidable alternative to the C-130 Hercules. The C-390's design accommodates a variety of military missions, including troop and cargo transport, aerial refueling, and medical evacuation. It can carry up to 26 tons of cargo, accommodating various military vehicles, such as 2M113 armored personnel carriers or a Sikorsky H-60 helicopter. The aircraft's versatility extends to personnel transport, with configurations for up to 80 soldiers or 66 paratroopers, along with an advanced cargo handling and aerial delivery system capable of airdropping up to 42,000 pounds of supplies. The C-390 Millennium is equipped with modern avionics, including Rockwell Collins Pro-Line Fusion and Celex Galileo's tactical radar. Its fly-by-wire controls and modular design facilitate rapid mission reconfiguration ensuring adaptability for different operational needs. With a cargo hold measuring 18.5 meters in length and 2.95 meters in height, the C-390 features a rear ramp for efficient loading. Operating at a cruising speed of Mach 0.8, the C-390 provides medium airlift capabilities essential for modern military operations. Its maximum fuel capacity of 35 tons, along with a wing-mounted probe and drogue pods for aerial refueling, further enhances its operational flexibility. The C-390 Millennium has already gained traction among several nations looking to modernize their military transport capabilities. The Brazilian Air Force, as the primary operator, has ordered 19 units, with 7 already delivered. Meanwhile, the Portuguese Air Force is gradually integrating 5 C-390s into its fleet, with the first two units received in October 2022 and June 2024, respectively. Other nations, including Hungary, Austria, and South Korea, have also placed orders for the C-390, underscoring its global appeal. The aircraft's specifications make it a competitive option for countries aiming to replace older models while enhancing their transport capabilities. The addition of the Emperor C-390 Millennium to the Moroccan Air Force marks a significant milestone in the country's military modernization efforts. With its advanced capabilities, versatile design, and global presence, the C-390 is poised to play a vital role in enhancing Morocco's logistics and tactical transport capabilities, ensuring that the nation remains prepared for contemporary military challenges. As the Moroccan Air Force embarks on this new chapter, the C-390 will undoubtedly contribute to the operational effectiveness and readiness of the armed forces in the years to come.